this farm was put together by my grandfather over over a hundred years ago. And it was a farm both for uh, uh, woods products and for, for livestock and uh, corn pr produce. I have a lot of memories since age four. Uh, my father was in the military and we traveled around, but this was home. And during the Second World War, I spent a lot of time out here as a kid. The Coons family manages this wooded farmland located in Bullock County in the Knobs Physiographic region of Kentucky. This land is drained by Crooked Creek and is part of the Salt River Basin. A portion of the original farm was sold to create Knobs State Forest and Wildlife Management Area. The Coons family manages about 300 acres with a focus on soil conservation, water quality protection, and wildlife habitat enhancement. Okay, the knobs are interesting geological formation. Uh, their formation goes back to about 300 million years, 300 million years. Uh, they're composed mostly of shale. Uh, they have iron deposits with them, which made them attractive uh, for the iron industry and in early Kentucky's history. One early spring, we had 10 inches of rain in, in about 10 hours. These whole fields were flooded. Uh, we had to hike out over the scout dam here. The first time the spillway had ever uh, flooded and uh, uh, I had to hold on my dog to keep it from being swept away downstream. <laughs> so it, it really reflects the runoff that can happen in this type of topography. Um, and this is why it's important to uh, keep the forest sustainable. Riparian areas link water bodies and aquatic environments with upland land uses. Riparian areas are also called buffer zones or streamside management zones. Buffers are useful on all sizes of streams, creeks, and rivers, and even on lakes and ponds. Vegetation is typically composed of trees, shrubs, grasses, and herbaceous perennials. Stream buffers are important elements of watershed management and offer benefits such as protecting stream banks from erosion, holding soil in place, taking up nutrients in runoff water, and reducing flood damage. I also joined the Salt River Watershed Watch and uh, that made me very sensitive to what was going on on the farm. Uh, uh, we also uh, participated in the water quality uh, form, sent the form in, and, uh, uh, and have since then been very sensitive to livestock uh, interaction with the stream. We fenced those out. Of, of the stream, um, which I think contributed to the low coliform counts that we've, we've had on the stream. Kentucky landowners with 10 acres or more involved in farming or forestry must develop a Kentucky Agriculture Water Quality Plan to comply with state law. Developing a plan includes selecting best management practices that will be utilized on the farm to protect soil and water resources. Streamside buffer zones and restricting livestock access to streams are effective practices to include in ag water quality plans. These practices not only protect resources on the farm, but also help protect water quality downstream. We've stopped growing uh, crops per se, and in our fields to provide uh, a more broad uh, environment and ecosystem for wildlife, we've planted them with native grasses, and um, in more recent years, forbs. And I'm tremendously interested in trying to preserve the monarch butterfly, and we planted and have naturally a, a, a lot of milkweed. And uh, that, that's dear to my heart. <laughs> Our whole approach uh, to these uh, attempts is to prevent erosion and preserve the quality of the stream. 
and having trees grow along the side of the banks tends to stabilize them, preventing silt, uh, which would then uh, impair the natural uh, biologic activities that take place within the stream, the effect on the macroinvertebrates and uh, the, the fauna that lives in the stream. To learn more about utilizing riparian buffers to protect water quality, contact your local Cooperative Extension Service office. To learn more about developing your Kentucky Ag Water Quality Plan, contact your local county conservation district.